This is the Ellen 32A450 Samsung TV, which has a problem, uh, which has several problems on the power supply. We see the main board to the left, the power supply board in the middle, and the high voltage inverter board on the right side. The board we are talking about here is the BN4400214. First problem may be this uh, capacitor here. It's a high voltage capacitor and the resonant power supply. It's 18 nanofarad and it will lose capacity when it uh, when it's faulty. Then there are these electrolytic capacitors here, which needs to be checked. Next, uh, there may be these two transistors here, which have which may have a bad solder joint. The effects of bad solder joints are pretty unpredictable. The TV may be switching on and off uh, in a random fashion or it doesn't turn on. Uh. And another reason may be this uh, transistor here, which I had uh, three TV sets with the same fault, bad solder joints on this transistor. If it fails, in my case there was uh, the TV was turning off like after a month or so and sometimes it wouldn't turn on at all and it was always bad solder joints on this transistor. If this transistor has bad solder joints it will not allow the PFC circuit and the 24 volt circuit to turn on. So here it's pretty obvious the solder joint is cracked. We just clean them, we clean all three of them and then uh, re-solder the terminals. So AC voltage comes in here, is filtered then rectified. The output is about 160 volt DC. This circuit here is the PFC and boost circuit. Its power supply comes from the standby power supply which comes through this transistor which is the one with the bad solder joints. The startup voltage for the um, standby power supply comes from here. It's 150 volt or 350 volt depending if, if the TV is on or off. This power supply always creates 5.2 volts. As soon as you plug in uh, AC mains it's, uh, it's working or it should be working with a 5.2 volt uh, output. And then with another winding from the same transformer, uh, 20 volts are created to supply power to the PFC and 24 volt power supply. When the signal from the mainboard comes to turn the TV on, it goes through the, uh, through the optocoupler and then turns on the um, transistor. And the output voltage would be about 15 volts which powers up the PFC controller chip and the 20 volt, 24 volt power supply controller chip as well. This whole circuit here creates 24 volts, 12 volt as well and 5.3 volt, an additional 5.3 volt power supply. And this one here is actually a protection circuit. Uh, several voltages are used here, and if they are too, if they are out of range, they will shut down the 24 volt power supply chip controller chip. The on signal from the main world comes through here. It's about 3.9 volt. So the thing is, watch out for bad solder joints on this transistor. Then on these two transistors as well. Any, uh, actually every component that may be heating, so every component that's mounted on heat sinks, the electrolytic capacitors and the 18 volt and 18 nanofarad capacitor as well. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and good luck.